My name is Dr. Natalia Rupert, and I am a senior scientist at the Alaska Earthquake Center at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. The huge influx of new data collected by the USRA Seismic Network, the Plate Boundary Observatory Geodetic Network, and other special projects opened up a great opportunity in exploring the tectonics, earthquakes, and geology of the region. This book coalesces many of the studies reflecting the new data and discoveries of the last two decades. My name is Margaret Jadamak. I'm an associate professor working in the area of geodynamics. The Aleutian Alaska subduction zone forms the northern boundary of the Pacific Ring of Fire. There is large-scale deformation along the plate boundary, as well as far north within the Alaskan interior, as well as within northwestern Canada. Alaska also has a long-lived history of subduction and terrain accretion, making the morphology of the crust and the mantle complicated and in need of high-fidelity tools to characterize a structure. The EarthScope project was a large-scale scientific initiative that provided critical data on the seismic, geodetic, and geologic structure of the North American continent and the underlying mantle. My name is Jeff Freimuller. I'm a professor at Michigan State University. Uh, and before I got here, I spent 23 years at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. So Alaska and uh, the Northwestern part of Canada was uh, like a home for me. This book is the outcome of a new era in studies of the region. Uh, before the EarthScope program and the new data collected by the EarthScope networks, Alaska and the adjacent part of Canada were really poorly studied and mainly studied by just a few dedicated enthusiasts. In many areas, the lack of data meant that very little work could be done. But with the arrival of the EarthScope data, that changed dramatically. And a large number of people brought new ideas and new methods to make new discoveries. And that's really what this book is about, is to document that first round of new discoveries that came out of the EarthScope program. The region-wide seismic and geodetic uh, data sets allowed researchers to create the most comprehensive models of subsurface structure all the way down into the mantle. New knowledge was gained about behavior of crustal faults and subduction zone characteristics. It's actually impossible for me to choose a single finding since they all uh, comprise different pieces of the tectonic puzzle that Alaska and Canada represent. So I've actually been working in the Alaska region um, for over 20 years now, and there's still so many questions to understand in terms of tectonics and hazards for the region. For example, in terms of processes of plateau subduction collision, we have that ongoing actively in the um, eastern Alaska subduction zone. In addition, I would just like to highlight the importance of advances in new technologies, high performance computing, large scale data efforts like this EarthScope one. Collectively, these can pave the way um, forward into scientific discovery and scientific discovery that can also directly impact society. This book uh, reflects the first real set of discoveries that came out of the EarthScope program. And it's the first comprehensive set of papers focusing on the region for quite, a, quite some time. Almost 20 years ago, uh, we had an AGU Chapman conference uh, on Alaska and on the seismic potential and earthquake hazards in Alaska. And that led to an AGU monograph that summarized the state of knowledge uh, as of that time. Well, uh, the timing for this book also coincided with a long overdue update to the U.S. Geological Survey's earthquake hazard map for Alaska. So this book became an ideal place for USGS scientists to publish basic studies that documented many of the inputs to the earthquake hazard map. Those papers make up a significant chunk of the book. So whether you're interested in earthquake hazards or interested in crustal structure or tectonics, uh, this is the book that really summarizes the state of knowledge uh, about the region. And, and so it's really the reference uh, that people are gonna be using uh, going forward over the next decade or so. Uh, while we you know, do more focused studies to learn new things.